And the Brits aren't doing too bad for themselves either here, with the XKR, the fastest accelerating jug ever, taking centre stage on the Jaguar stand. Powered by 370 brake horsepower 4 litre V8, it rockets to 60 in 5.2 seconds and has a top speed limited to 155 miles per hour. The XKR, as it's known, has to be a strong contender for the Geneva Show Stopper, especially as it marks the 50th anniversary of Jaguar's XK sports car liner. The XK born 50 years ago and still alive today, and I think growing with the new XKR, which I'm sure will have a great sales success, particularly in Germany, critical market for us. What have you got planned for this year in terms of celebration? Well, I guess the highlight internally to Jaguar is our 50th anniversary ball at Browns Lane on June the 5th. And uh, we'll be using that to raise money for uh, charity, in fact, for the NSPCC, which is a charity we've supported. But then the, the real big highlight, I think, is going to be Donington, June 27th, 28th, 29th weekend, where XK enthusiasts from all over the world are going to come in. And it's an XK celebration weekend and all the great XKs in history will be there. I, I don't think they're going to be missing a one. To see an XK 120, 40, 50 running around the racetrack as they used to do, I think it's going to be magic. A weekend I'm really looking forward to. XKs around such, around such passion and excitement in people, don't they? Why do you think that's so? It's probably got to do 1948 after the war, pretty dreary time, and along came Bill Lyons with this stunning looking vehicle with an all new engine that actually on uh, Javeca Strait did more than 120 miles an hour, in fact 131. Stunning performance in really pretty dreary old Europe of the day. And of course the cars look so gorgeous. As a coupe or as a roadster or as a convertible, they all look beautiful. That classic Jaguar front end and the the claws that are grabbing you through the headlights. I just think magic styling and uh, styling really is a classic, isn't it? It is, and I can see you say that with such passion. Your, your face comes alight when you talk about them. What about the future of Jaguar? We've heard some great news recently about Halewood, which is going to mean more jobs. What about the future of the XK brand and also of Jaguar's future? Well, I, I think Jaguar is poised right now. This is the last year in which we'll only be selling two car lines, the XJ series and the XK series. Now. Next year, we'll obviously introduce X200 from Castle Bromwich. We, we hope that that will nearly double sales. I'm pretty sure it will nearly double sales. And then two years after that, uh, we'll be introducing X400, which, as you say, will be built on Merseyside. Now, that will really transform Jaguar. It will take us from a niche player to uh, competitive, uh, not totally in volume terms, but we're not going to go for taxi cabs. Uh, it'll put us on a par with our German competition and we can then spread around the world, more importantly get new dealers, offer Jaguar uh, standards, Jaguar traditions and Jaguar styling to a whole new range of customers that I really think are eager to experience something that up till now only a few have been able to experience.